Ever get that feeling you're paying for more than you're using? That's definitely a vibe some folks get with their traditional landline phone plans. These days, between cell phones and web calling, that bulky landline can feel like a relic of the past. But what if you still crave the reliability and crisp call quality of a landline without the hefty price tag? That's where UMA comes in. UMA VoIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, is a fantastic way to ditch the traditional phone company and bring crystal clear calling into your home using your existing internet connection. But with all this talk of internet connections, a question pops up. Where exactly does UMA fit into your home network? Does it plug into your router or modem? Let's untangle that wire mess and get you plugged into phone service bliss. The big picture, your home network symphony. Imagine your home network as a symphony orchestra. Each instrument plays a crucial role in creating beautiful music. Your internet modem acts like the conductor, receiving the signal from the outside world, the internet service provider, ISP. It then translates that signal into a language your devices can understand. Think of your router as the central hub where all the instruments come together. The router takes the signal from your modem and distributes it wirelessly to your devices, like laptops, phones, and smart TVs, allowing them to connect to the internet. Now, where does UMA fit in? UMA, the maestro of your calls. UMA acts like a special instrument in this orchestra, specifically designed for crystal clear phone calls. It doesn't directly replace your modem or router, but works alongside them. Here's the magic. UMA connects directly to your internet connection using an ethernet cable. This ethernet cable acts like it's sheet music, providing the digital data UMA needs to function. UMA then translates regular phone calls into data packets that it can send over your internet connection. Think of it like a skilled musician who can take a complex symphony and translate it into notes their instrument can play. The data packets travel through your router and out to the broader internet, eventually reaching the phone number you're calling. Just like the notes travel from the sheet music to the performer, then out to the audience. When someone calls you, the process reverses. The data packets travel through the internet, your router, and then UMA translates them back into a regular phone call that rings on your UMA device or any phone connected to it. The UMA advantage, flexibility, and choice. The beauty of UMA is its flexibility. You can connect it to your existing home phone wiring or use a wireless UMA device that plugs directly into a power outlet. This gives you the freedom to place your UMA device wherever it's most convenient for you. Addressing router or modem confusion. Here's why some folks might get confused about where to plug in UMA. Some internet service providers, ISPs, bundle your modem and router into a single unit. This can make it seem like there's only one device. Older modems may have an Ethernet port, while newer ones might not. This can lead some to believe UMA plugs into the modem itself. Remember, no matter your setup, UMA needs a separate Ethernet connection to function. Look for the extra Ethernet port on your modem or router, and that's where you'll plug in your UMA device. So, to answer our initial question, UMA doesn't plug into your modem, but rather into your router, or the Ethernet port on a combined modem router unit. By connecting to your internet connection, UMA transforms your home network into a symphony of phone calls and internet connectivity. Call quality concerns? Of course, you might be wondering if relying on your internet for calls affects quality. Well, fret not. UMA prioritizes voice data, ensuring your calls stay crisp and clear, even if you're streaming movies or browsing the web. If you're considering switching to UMA, there are plenty of resources online to help you get set up. And with the knowledge you have now, you can confidently navigate the world of routers, modems, and UMA connections. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.